Hey guys, I'm the Gene in the hospital. Thought I'd make a short vid. A couple of things. Uh, well, that's, that's my IV. And then, this is interesting. I want to know how my bed, my electric bed, does CPR. Mm -hmm. Like if I if I push the CR button, does like the bottom like fold up and start smashing into my chest or something? I'm really tempted. Oh, CPR. Mm. Um, <laughs> his heart stopped beating. Push the CPR button. <laughs> what the heck? Um, oh, another couple of little hospital hacks. If you're getting your femur or like pelvis area x-rayed, your private parts are going to show up on the x-ray. And then the doctor's there and the nurse is there and he's like, everyone's looking at the x-ray. And so, so what I do is they, they tell you to get undressed before you go in there. So in the undressing room, I get excited is a polite way of saying it. So that way when you walk in to get the x-ray, you're like, you're like, you just got a sem, you're a semi, but they think you're fully flaccid. So they're like, this dude's like seven inches flaccid. Um, so yeah, that's that's one little trick you can do. It's always fun. Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, that's about it, really. I just got, I got, I got a lot of stuff here. I got, got a Nintendo. I got a tablet. I got my phone. I got my charges plugged in over there. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm relaxing. Oh, I, I didn't have an accident. Some people are still confused. I guess I'm not very clear recently. Um, I'm getting the metal from my legs removed that I got put in, like, with my big accident, which was like eight years ago or something. And, uh, uh, it's 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 interesting. Like I I, I it's it, recently it hurts when I walk, so I went to the hospital, and the guy X-rayed me, and it, like I waited about twenty minutes to see a doctor. The X-ray was immediate, no line, and then I waited another ten minutes, and then he called me in again, and he said, "Yeah, it's you know some of your screws have rotated or." moved from their original position so it's it's the metal inside of you that's like rubbing against your skin when you walk so and then he he said i said it doesn't hurt much it just hurts a little he says you can leave it in you can take it out and i said well, what would you do if you were me and he says i'd take it out so i said okay i'll take it out and he says when do you want to get it done and i said well s sooner rather than later because i it's winter vacation i don't have much work right now so he says okay how about I went in on a Wednesday, and he goes, how about we do the surgery Friday? <laughs> it's just crazy. So I came back the next day, checked myself into the hospital. They did some blood workups and stuff that they normally do before our surgery. And then I snuck out of the hospital and went home and, and just hung out at home because the hospitals are boring. And then I came back like three hours later, and they t I told them I was just downstairs. Um, yeah, and then the next morning they did my surgery and everything went well. It was a little, I was a little worried because there was some, it was possible that they wouldn't be able to get the metal out because it's been in there for nine years. The doctor said, like, there's a chance we might not even be able to get it out. And there was also a chance of, like, re-breaking the bone while trying to force the metal out. But everything went smooth enough, so now I just need to be extra cautious for the next couple of months because my bone is hollow and the bone marrow and whatever all needs to like regrow so that's my little update should I push it? should I push it?